My name is Ndabiso Jordan Bebe, but I go by NJ for short. I'm actually a former member of the Wolves Young Company, and well, thanks to them, I'm actually in drama school right now. In terms of the Black Lives Matter movement going on, it's been an extremely empowering time for me. When I heard about George Floyd's death, I didn't think too much of it because, well, I'd become so used to seeing the injustice and, well, I was numb to it. Um, however, the backlash from the public has been amazing. I mean, there was a large number of non-black people, whites, Asians, who were just as outraged as we were, and if not more, and they expressed that in, on different social media platforms. Um, they also set up petitions. They also went out to protest, despite COVID-19 being still a thing. And, well, for me... It was a beautiful demonstration of unity, showing it's not just a black person's problem, it's everyone's problem. The police officers involved have actually been charged, which I've never seen in my life. My mum always used to say, united we stand, divided we fall. I wholeheartedly believe all the officers would have got away with it had the uproar not been so loud. So there's actually hope for a better world. There are two things um, I tend to struggle with, um, you know, being black in this society. Um, number one is I feel like I'm not allowed to be angry. I'm never allowed to express any type of passion, really, because if I do, then I can be more seen or labelled as aggressive and therefore threatening towards people, you know, whatever that means. And, um, well, number two is no matter, like, what great things are going to accomplish in life, you know, I could become prime minister or, you know, um, come up with the next billion pound invention or whatever. Um, to some people, I'm still just seen as a nigger or a monkey or whatever. So. Um, hi, I've had to write something down because um, I didn't feel strong enough to convey how I'm actually feeling right now. Um, the death of George Floyd hit differently. We've seen black people killed by police many times before, but not suffocated and calling for their mother for almost nine minutes. Now more and more videos are being released, it feels like a tidal wave of injustice and grief. I've had to shut down all my social media for a while because I wasn't strong enough to see any more videos but then you feel guilty for seemingly not caring. Someone recently said, racism isn't getting worse, it's just being filmed and that is so true. Every time a new video pops up, it's like a punch in the stomach. Sometimes my heart feels so heavy, I don't wanna leave the house. I struggle to socialize with friends because I feel like they won't understand my grief. It's a grief for strangers who I share a bond with because of the color of my skin. Being brown and experiencing racism or implicit bias on a daily basis and not feeling like you're able to discuss it as much as you need to is a form of trauma. It moulds the person you become and your outlook on the world. People are asking why in England we should care about deaths in America, but just last year in my hometown of Ipswich, me and my daughter were walking home from the park and admiring a tree and a man asked us if we would like to be hung from it. I've never told anyone this before because I felt like people wouldn't believe me and that white people are probably bored of hearing about racism minorities endure. I believe that my job as a parent is to equip my daughter with the necessary tools and life skills needed to survive in a world without me and right now I'm terrified for her. Having to make signs and participate in a peaceful protest just to say that our lives matter, how do you explain that to a child? Where we go from here, I really don't know, but it's hard and I'm really struggling. All lives matter, of course they do, but for the last few hundred years, the importance of black lives has been up for debate. It hurts and I feel absolutely broken.